Good thing for travel, little tip. Get the greens on board. Jacko, why do you use steps? Because um, my wife would kill me if she found out. It's up the elevator. That's like the cardinal sin. You cannot take the... Oh no, no, escalator. Not elevator. <laughs> elevator. Right. I'm scared of um, small flat space. The elevators are out of question as well. Um, you? We, you were distracting us with the camera and therefore haven't picked up the bag, which has a lot of the essentials. Right. Abby's found it, don't worry. It's just that, we thought we might have actually properly messed that up and no one would have any pants and Abby wouldn't, Abby wouldn't have any makeup. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I'm not sure which one of those is the bigger disaster. <laughs> Mike, Mike is late for so. Note to self, bring flip-flops. Oh, Peppa Pig, say hello to the School of Calisthenics. <laughs> so sick. Day one of Mike's Gym Marbella, the weekend workshop with the School of Calisthenics is about to kick off. Guests arrive in about half an hour. People have come from all over the place. So day one, we start with getting the journey out of the system. So some movement prep work up at the temple, which is up at the top there, uh, which gets uh, the journey out of the system, preps the body for the rest of the sessions we're gonna do for the rest of today, Saturday and Sunday. And then on Friday, later on today, we get to go out on the big course. We get the Mike's Gym experience where Mike is going to win his beautiful way um, show us around the course shall we say and uh, put us through our paces and uh, that's going to set us up to then after lunch and then we're going to then have some time to chill out around the pool in Ninja Alley and uh, then it's time to relax before all of the more progressive calisthenics stuff starts on day two. <laughs> This is going to get me bigger pectorials, that's what I want to know. Do they inflate them as soon as you put them on? It's a very special moment when Mike puts this on. This is very special. Game a proper, we gave him a proper vest. A real vest. It doesn't happen yeah. very often. Look at that instant growth. <laughs> 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 about what this assault course is about. We have what's called our top section, which is all cardio based up and down bank sides and running up and down tires and ladders and stuff like that, which you're all gonna participate in. Then we're gonna go on to the kind of military style obstacles, simple balance, climbing under things, crawling under things, swinging across things, climbing over things, blah, blah, blah. The official lap for the course is four and a half kilometers around and there's a hundred odd elements to it. Right then, come on then, pick your teams. Anybody got any questions about that? No? I oh, went the first last time was fired in my opinion. Well, that's how it is. <laughs> I've got a question. Do I look more white the next year than I normally do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on. Hey. Right then, everybody understand what's going on? Three, two, one, go! Um, one on, go, 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 Come to Mike's gym. You gotta do this so course. Come on, let's go! And you gotta do it properly. Which means Come on, let's go! <laughs> whatever level you're at, you're going, you're trying to redefine your first you're at the edge of your limit. Don't matter whether you're first or last. That challenges you, gives you the opportunity to see what have you got at that. Nice. Look. Go on, Nice. Yeah. 
Right, so the guys are just walking back up after having done. We've actually done a steady two hours, 20 minutes. Yeah, some of that was on hard Mike's, as well. On the Mike's world famous obstacle course. Yeah, stunning effort to be fair. He's set, even Mike impressed. Mike, well, Mike himself, we gave him a we gave him a vest with redefining impossible on the back, and he did the stairway to heaven. As he said, the first time he's ever been able to do it. He's had so many injuries and and stuff going on that's uh, wrecked his body. There's actually this, he, he had to do the demo today, and uh, and he did. It was awesome to see that power of a new vest. <laughs> exactly, it's got some a little bit of magic inside it. Helps you to redefine your impossible. And then he said he was impressed. We into <laughs> there were some of the some of the obstacles. Oh, yeah, we were sort of at the back, and people were <laughs> jumping over these massive things and what. I'm thinking, oh crap, we have to do that now. And then Mike actually said, out of all the groups, he says you don't often get many people. Where out of a group of 15, that you'd have maybe more than five. And we had pretty much everybody yeah, doing yeah, the majority. Yeah, very impressive. Just goes to show. I sense to get ready for anything. Out in the real world, very exciting. As we climb the final steps. Gives me some tired legs tonight. Yeah. That's where we were. So, start of day two. Nice and early, trying to catch a little bit of the sunrise. It was a great day out on that uh, assault course. Day two, we're kicking off with handstands, um, and then we're getting into some of our uh, progressions towards some of the bigger movements, levers, human flags, muscle-ups. Um, and uh, we're gonna do some of that up here at the gym. We're gonna do some of that down on the beach. Mike's got a rig that he takes down, puts up at the beach, then you get your calisthenics training done actually on the beach which is pretty epic so we're gonna see that beautiful sun come up it might be that you see someone and they've got the vest on and you're like so you look like a dude that would buy that vest or has he been to Marbella and got one for, for, for free because he came on the trip and you might you, you got to give there's like a little look of like <laughs> Because it might be, and I'm like, that looks like a chump that would buy a t-shirt. And I come in and the safety is like, we can just hang, oh, hi, yeah, it's cool, oh, yeah, cool, yeah, nice. I actually went to my bank, got mine for free, but oh, and he's like, oh, yeah, no, I saw that trip, I'd like to go on that. Or it might be that we see each other and he's like, I give him the eyebrows, and it, come, and it looks like we're just doing a handshake, but we come in, we slide past, we come, we double tap. We fist pump <laughs> because we know we've been on the school cast. So that's uh, that is the handshake. Um, so we'll go through slowly for you. It's, <laughs> it starts with it starts with an acknowledgement that you both know what's going on. But remember that if you maybe he just fancies me and he's given me those and we come in, you've always got the get oh, out. Yes. <laughs> you've, you've got you've got the get out that you th and then oh you can you can always just hit the with the handshake. But what we're gonna do? We're gonna come in. We slide past and you can give him a little bit of something <laughs> extra if you want. Boom, boom, boom. And then you can be a bit of ex um, expressive interpretation of how you want to finish, <laughs> finish that. done bit up at the temple where we're looking at the bottom up where we build it up from a frog stand and the, the strength progression it is to get there but what we need to if we're going to do this frog tan stand not only do we need the strength to get up to the top we need to get to get up to the top we need to have the balance and the control to be able to hold that end position so we're using the wall both ways around kicking up and walking up just to, to teach us one the, the body line the body position supported by the wall or assisted by the wall um, for that end position and then having a chance to practice what is the balance like by taking one leg or or two legs off Thank you. you guys are doing a great job nice doggy So a little bit of action now for the human flag. Quite a few people wanting to learn it, but they are relatively early days on their 
human flag journey. So Jacko just broke it down. I let him crack on with this one. He's head of human flags. That's his job. Um, so I tend not to interfere too much. I get to just relax and watch everyone train for a bit. Might show off at the end of the session. Really strong pushing, really strong pulling, connecting the hip on that top side. So if I can put those things uh, together. I got a clap. Um, the world record's one minute and six seconds. life rules is whenever you're at the beach or you see the sea no matter where it is when it is you've got to go in it so never been stand up paddleboarding before it's very choppy out there michael said there's no chance we're even going to stand up we shall see what? Thank you very much. That. <laughs> it was a fantastic experience. <laughs> <laughs> I was lying on a, I was five minutes lying out in the ocean, floating, floating on a paddleboard, thinking, when am I moving to Spain? <laughs> it's been a good day. Timbo, we have a problem. <laughs> that left shoe, either my foot, my left foot has grown, or you have one massive left foot. It works for me. <laughs> you didn't even know it is. That's too bad, Chris. I'm not bothered. I don't wear anybody's shoes. My exceptionally small feet. Day two, done. All right, we'll do a little bit of over, um, upper body, oh, sorry, lower body ones to get you guys moving as well. So this team is gonna start, no power drivers. Three, two, one, go! Definitely, don't hesitate, I'm fucking amazing. Like, I've learned so much stuff. If you got any sticking points, if you ever wondered like what kind of things it's about, like, I highly recommend coming down. I've learned so much in these three days. Uh, you read the script perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>